We're going behind the scenes at a destination for film, music, and technology lovers. The Library of Congress Packard Campus for Audiovisual Conservation, located in Culpeper, Virginia. So this facility is home to the world's largest collection of film, video, and sound recordings. We have 1.4 million individual reels of film and videotapes, three and a half million sound recordings, and the preservation laboratories that are responsible for making sure that these will be available to future generations. That's a lot of media to binge watch. There is a tremendous <laughs> amount of that that goes on in this building. Love a good classic movie like Casablanca? It's housed here. If you've ever copyrighted a work of media, it's likely housed here too. That's how this campus gets much of the content it preserves. I'd like you to tell me I'd need a winter coat for this next little adventure. Well, we're in our nitrate vaults. It's 39 degrees Fahrenheit, 30% relative humidity. <laughs> so nitrate film is the film stock used in Hollywood before 1951. The base of nitrate film is nitrocellulose which is a cousin to gun cotton, so it's very flammable. Mm -hmm. If any of this film catches on fire, we can't put it out, we can only hope to contain it because nitrate film uh, creates its own oxygen when it burns. So it has to be stored in a lot of individual vaults. Of the 140 million feet of nitrate film we have wow. here, we, I know, we have, <laughs> we have the original camera negatives from Warner Brothers, so all those Jimmy Cagney, Humphrey Bogart, Betty Davis films in Three Stooges. The original camera negatives for an experimental Thomas Edison film dating back to 1891 are also stored at the Packard campus. If the zombie apocalypse occurs, I'm thinking that this facility could be a pretty entertaining place to be, which isn't unreasonable since the Packard campus of the National Audiovisual Conservation Center is actually housed in what used to be a U.S. Federal Reserve bomb and radiation proof bunker during the Cold War held several billion dollars, enough money to replenish the U.S. economy east of the Mississippi during a catastrophic event. Most of the campus's 415,000 square feet of usable space is located underground. So not only are we responsible for preserving audiovisual content, we have to preserve the machines that preserve the audiovisual content. It's a lot of maintenance and a lot of specialty knowledge and maintenance that would go into to doing that. Meaning antique formats and their antique players are kept alive here by preservationists with a unique set of skills, which are sometimes learned on the job because they aren't taught anywhere else. Inside the 205-seat on-site Art Deco Theater, Mike and I sit down to screen a movie. A projectionist hand threads 35-millimeter polyester film with most theaters having converted to digital within the past decade, the Library of Congress is one of the few theaters left that's actually running 35 millimeter on a regular basis. The theater opens its doors several times a week for free public screenings, showing rare silent movies and other blockbusters and classics, and giving visitors a taste of the past with thoughts of the future.